Hi, this is a community learning video about Google Drive. So what is Google Drive? Um, Google Drive is the shared um, folders and files system that we've implemented for um, passing around best practice um, tools, techniques, resources um, across North Somerset, South Gloucestershire and Bristol. So the idea of this is like a system called Dropbox, which I know a lot of staff were using before. Um, this is like an education version of that with more storage um, and a few more features. Um, for those who haven't used any systems before, it's rather like having a, a pen drive that you can access from anywhere, uh, from any computer. Um, there's apps for this and you can access it from your works computer, from your home PC, from an iPad, uh, whatever you want. So, um, to access this you use your t.firstname.lastname at communitylearningwest.net email address. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, and if you need to get your password reset, please just uh, let one of the team know and we'll get you sorted. So, this is my drive. I've just logged in. I've gone to just done the web search for Google Drive. Um, equally, you can just type in drive.google.com. And what you're presented with is a screen. Um, on the left, you've got your menu. Um, we won't go into many of those options at the moment. In the central section, you've got the drive. So this is my personal drive section with files and folders, uh, much like your drive on a Windows computer. And over on the right, you've got some information about the thing we're looking at. So if I click on a particular file, you'll see it comes up with details. Let me get myself out of the way. And you can see who has access to it, who can look at it, um, where it's stored, where it was created, that sort of thing. Okay. So when you've got this My Drive section listed at the top left, that tells you this is my personal drive. So anything in here is safe. It's it's for me personally. Nobody else can access this, not even an administrator. What we can do with this is I can take this window. I can move it out of the way a little bit. And if I view a file on my desktop, anything I want at all, I can just click, left click, drag over to here, and let go. And that will upload the file. You'll see that file is now uploaded to my drive. That means a copy of that file is now accessible wherever I've got access to Google Drive. And you can see that there. Um, from there, I can create new folders. So I right click on a bit of space. Um, I can also create new documents, and we'll talk about those in a subsequent video. Uh, so, new folder. Now I can type in a name for a new folder, much as I would on a normal computer. Um, and I can click and drag and move my files around. If I go into that test folder, you can see there's that file I just uploaded. So the purpose of using Google Drive is that we can share those files. Um, so what I'm going to do is if I right click on any of these files or folders, um, there's lots of options. Most of them are self-explanatory. The one we're going to talk about at the moment is share. If I hit share, we've got a few options here. So we've got the get a shareable link option. So at the moment, for this particular file, um, I've got it switched on so anyone with this link can view as long as they're also a logged in user. Um, so as long as they've got access to this big long string, they can copy that link and put it into their toolbar and get access to this file. But probably we want to generally share files and folders with tutors, uh, commission tutors maybe, um, with students that might not have access to the system if they're on shorter courses. So if I click this link. Um, I can go down the bottom and hit more and what we get is this hierarchy of all the different people and all the different types of access. So <coughs> from the top, public on the web is totally accessible. We probably don't want that. Um, right down to the bottom is completely locked off. I would say generally speaking we want on anyone with the link. So if we send them the link they can view the file. We could equally let them edit it but that's a little bit riskier. So anyone with the link can view the file. I can then copy that link, send that in an email, and anyone at all can just click the link and see the file. And it's a great way of just sharing documents, um, asking for those comments, um, or passing things to students. So that's the main thing we can do, and also, because it's your document at this point, you can remove it, delete it. Um, it's totally down to you. This is very much your um, your your drive, your thing to play around with, so don't worry too much about what happens in here um, unless you've deleted the original off your computer. Um, 
What's great now though is we've got this new feature which came out quite recently from Google called Team Drives. If we click up here, we get a slightly different looking interface. Um, we get these nice little pictures. And these are um, shared folders that don't belong to an individual, they belong to the team as a whole. Um, they still operate in the same way, in that they've got um, people attached to them, so some people won't see some folders. If you just double click on one of them, and what you'll see is each one has a certain number of members, and the person who created it can add more people in. But they, they don't, it doesn't belong to that person. So, what I've done with a lot of our core folders is I've made them um, only full access from me, but I've also got classroom teachers can view. So only I'm able to add in IT documents, um, but anyone who's a tutor can view this folder, and so you all see it inside your list. Um, what's great about this though is it enables us to keep things a bit tidier because we've got people who are responsible for each folder, um, but we can also create new team drives. Um, and say you wanted a, a tutor to have a, a craft folder um, for willow weaving. Now there's only a few people who are going to be interested in the resources in a craft folder. So what they can do is they can invite each other in. It's picked a totally inappropriate picture here. Um, you can change the theme and pick your own um, theme from a gallery or create a custom theme if you wanted. It's still wrong, but let's, let's just go with that. No, of course we can. There we go. So what we can do now is we can add members in through a sort of similar interface. So if you add members and they can type in the name of um, another member of staff, click the button and don't need to send a notification and that person would have full access. They'd be able to upload files as well, delete files and manage it with you. Um, and if you then did that for every single person in your little group, you would all see under Team Drives this new Willow folder, but nobody else would. So it's a great way of adding more and more um, features into Google Drive without weighing it all down for everybody else. So that's our brief look at Google Drive. Um, we will have some subsequent videos which I'll uh, get around to linking in to this video um, for particular parts of the system. Thanks very much.